four people drowned in Kerala's uh, Periya River in the Inakulam district. Three of them were uh, students of Delhi St. Stephen's College who were on a trip. The police say uh, amongst a 13-member group of students from Delhi who had gone to Kerala for a short holiday, four people, uh, in fact, drowned in the river. For more on that, let's now go across to my colleague, Sneha Miri Koshi, who joins us on the phone lines. Sneha, what more do we know? Um, Neha, what we do know is that the three um, students and another person who was not student was but part of the uh, was from the local resort in the rural part of Ernakulam. All uh, four of their bodies are kept in the hospital. The postmortem will be conducted today. One of the students was from Uttar Pradesh. The family belongs to Uttar Pradesh. The second student belongs to Bihar. The third student belongs to Vaina in Kerala. And the fourth person was a local employee at the resort. The resort owner's daughter also studies in St. Stephen's. Three of these students who drowned, uh, they also study in St. Stephen's. Now, what we also know that this area was an area which was demarcated as a dangerous area. Police say that there were uh, warning signboards which were there. Also importantly, the, in the time, when this incident happened yesterday evening, these four people were not part of the main group of uh, students who had come from Delhi for their Kerala visit. They had moved away from the group and had gone to a private resort, uh, at least to an area near the private resort where they uh, were trying to enjoy themselves at Periyar River. Now, uh, the police is also trying to touch base with the rest of the people, rest of the group, the group leaders. Most of, most of the group members seem to be students who came from uh, Delhi. It's not clear whether all of them were part of uh, from St. Stephen's, but what we're being told by police that most of them seem likely to be from St. Stephen's. Uh, we will try and get more updates about this. The police has also tried to get in touch with the local police of the, where the families belong to and also with the college authorities. All right, Sneha, thanks very much for getting us all those details. We will come back to you later for more.